Once again, my name is Omusolo Afakamia from Scripture Union, and we are continuing with our series of decision making. Today, our focus will be on letter C, which is consider the consequences. And we shall read from Galatians chapter 6, verses 7. It says, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Friends, you can never deceive God because he knew us even before we were conceived in our mother's wombs. You cannot sow hatred and expect to reap love. No, the consequences of hatred are hatred. Before you do anything in life, it's always important that you try to project the possible outcomes. These will greatly inform your next decision of either to still do it or not. Let us take a look at Judah Iscariot. When he betrayed Jesus Christ, he did not put in consideration the different consequences. All he minded was the money he was to get. And so, even when Jesus kept speaking of the betrayal, Judas seemed not to understand. Friends, when you decide to do something wrong, in most cases, you become deaf and blind from any positive advice. I love using myself as the example because I understand my life better than anybody else. When I was in school, I started doing drugs due to banned wagon effects and peer pressure. I did not put into consideration the consequences simply because I was just following what friends were doing. I didn't have an independent opinion of what I was doing and many of us out there are simply doing things because we see our friends do them. My sisters, the moment you indulge in sex, one of the consequences are pregnancy. So we should stop calling it unwanted sex or unwanted pregnancies. Sexually transmitted infections, loss of virginity, and old likes are some of the outcomes. And so do not think sexual activity before marriage is a Bible study that you expect to learn only from the Bible. Do not be scared to look at the different possible outcomes or consequences of the actions you intend to take. I personally did not consider the different consequences and so lots of things happened around my life and this took me eight solid years to get off drugs. Brothers and sisters, you may not be lucky enough to get out of that mess you are putting yourself in. Time will come when you will feel like getting off some habits but when they are now part of your life. Let's always look at the different consequences of what we want to do before doing it, and this will help us to avoid regretting in life. Remember, poured milk can never be recollected, and a man reaps what he sows. God bless you. And consider the consequences of the different ventures we want to undertake.